165 kilometers stretched out in front of the riders on the fifth stage of Torino Adriatico, the Queen stage, always billed as the toughest of the race, the single summit finish as the riders headed from Morodoro to Sarnano Sassoteto and the inclement weather conditions forcing the organizers to cut the final two kilometers of the climb and squally showers and intense winds throughout the day battering the riders as they raced across central Italy. Three classified climbs along the way, including that summit finish, and an initial seven rider breakaway whittled down to six across the first climb of the day, and finally dwindling in number as the peloton under the sustained push of the Ineos Grenadiers squad hauled the early leaders back, including Zidane Stebar, within 30 kilometers of the finish. San Genesio breached by the breakaway group, including Florian Stork, but uh, they would ultimately be drawn back into the fold and the challenging wind conditions catching out uh, many riders and causing all sorts of difficulties for Simon Guglielmi, among others. That claps all round from the breakaway riders as they left it up to the main peloton to contest the penultimate climb of the day. That one going the way of Santoramito. The Bardiani squad as the main peloton behind. Still large in number, approaching the final climb of the day. Paired back to over 10 kilometers and at over 7% average, with gradients in excess of 11%. It was Damiano Caruso, the veteran Italian for the Bahrain Victoria squad that struck out for glory at one stage with an advantage of over 20 seconds. Inside the final kilometer, he was still in control as Enric Mass chased behind and into the final few hundred meters. Still a group of 17 in contention. Wilco Kelderman leading it out and then uh, leaving it up to others as Theo Gegenhardt went for glory, but it was Primus Roglic on the outside pipping the Englishman and Giulio Ciccone in the final dash for the line. Sarnano Sassoteto claimed by Primus Roglic a second successive stage success and with it the overall race lead by four seconds from former leader Leonard Kamenu. Roglic ahead of Ciccone and Gagan Hart, Hindley Kamenu, Vlasov and the rest and the blue jersey now on the shoulders of Primus Roglic. At four second margin, will it be decisive? Joao Almeida still sits on the podium. Brandon McNulty still fourth.